Hello everyone. In this video session, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate scrolling the page using Selenium automation until a UI element is displayed on the screen. For example, there is a web application here. On this web application page somewhere, we have a button with the name my button text. Now, by default, when you browse this application, there is no button that is having the name my button displayed on the screen by default. But if you scroll down, scroll down a bit here, you see there is some button with the name my button. Now, if you have to write some Selenium automation code, which will scroll this particular page until this particular my button is displayed, then what we have to do guys, let me practically show you how to write the code so that your Selenium will scroll the page until it sees this particular button with the having the name my button. So uh, here is some sample automation code guys, which will open the Chrome browser, maximize the browser and open the application URL like this. By default, the application screen will look like this. Now, when you browse it, the application screen will look something like this. Now guys, uh, we want the Selenium to scroll until the, it sees this uh, my button button. So how to do that? For that, first of all, we need to cache this driver with JavaScript executor, guys. JavaScript executor. JavaScript. JavaScript executor is a interface in Selenium. Using this, I am going to cache this driver. And as a result of casting, we'll get this uh, JSC over the mouse, create local variable, JavaScript executor. Like this, we have to write the statement, guys, over the mouse on JavaScript executor and uh, import this from Selenium. Now using this JSC kind of thing, say dot, and we are going to execute some JavaScript code. Okay, why we have written these two lines for executing the JavaScript code we have written. So when I say JSC dot execute script, then this particular execute script command can execute any JavaScript code that you provide. Here in place of the argument, you see there's an argument here. In place of this argument, we can provide the web element guys. So how to do that? Let me show you. So here in place of the argument, I want to provide the web element of this particular web element. That is this one. We need to scroll until this my button is displayed on the screen. So inspect this my button. So it has some ID, copy this ID. And here say driver dot find element by dot ID, provide the ID of that ID attribute value of that my button. Now let's create the web element like this. Return type of the find element is web element. So this is my button. This is my button web element for the mouse on the my, my button and say create local variable. Now copy this my button and paste here. Now we need to scroll the page until we need to scroll the page until this my button is displayed on the screen. Okay, we need to scroll the page until this my button is displayed on the screen. For that, we need to write some JavaScript code here. Here in the double quotes, we are going to write some JavaScript code. The first thing is we'll be writing like this argument of zero arguments of zero means my button guys fine arguments of zero means my button on this particular you see this is the first argument if you have multiple arguments you have to increase by one for example we have another argument here my something like this if you have another web element here then in order to refer this uh, argument we have to give one if you want to refer this one, you have to give the index value as zero. Arguments of zero will refer to my button. Since we don't have any other arguments, I'll remove this. So in order to refer this uh, my button web element, we need to give arguments dot arguments of zero index. Now on this my button, I want to scroll into view. There's a, this is a predefined method of the JavaScript guys. Okay, this is scroll into view is the predefined method of the JavaScript. Now say scroll into view. Here you need to provide true, guys. Scroll into view, true. You need to set the scroll into view as true. So this is the JavaScript code. When you run this JavaScript code, when this particular JavaScript code is executed, automatically your browser will scroll down until this particular my button is visible on the screen. By executing this JavaScript code, whatever we need will happen. That is we can scroll down to the we, we can scroll down the page until this my button page uh, button is displayed on the screen so let's run this code and see whether the same is happening 
scroll into view i'm just checking whether any spelling mistake yeah fine everything looks fine now let's run this code guys uh, but before running the code i want to do one more thing i want to write one more thing that is after opening the application immediately if i scroll you will not see the difference guys so here i'll add some thread dot slip some wait time i'll add so that uh, for demonstration purpose i will just uh, wait this program for hold this program for 3 seconds after 3 seconds of waiting it will scroll down to this button the page selenium will scroll down the page until this button is visible on the screen so let's see that in action right click run as java application you see it will open the application in the browser and uh, you see by default the screen is at the default screen level you see after 3 seconds the scrolling of the page automatically happened until this my button is visible on the screen you see this is how we can scroll the page using selenium until we see the required ui element this visible on the screen so hope guys uh, you understood how to how to scroll the page until you see the required ui element on the page using selenium automation code so that's it guys thank you bye